Hello, Utah Congressional District number two. My name is Rachel Kerr Iverson, and I am a Utah born and raised. I'm a daughter of the Wasatch Front and a graduate from Westminster College in Salt Lake City. I graduated from Westminster in May 2019 with my bachelor's in English and an emphasis in creative writing. It was as a junior at Westminster that I met Kale Weston. He was the writer in residence at Westminster at the time, and he had just started a class entitled Going to War Costs and Consequences. Missing from my education up to that point was any kind of formal introduction into the wars that the United States was fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. Given Kale's experience and the integral part he played in those wars, I desperately wanted to take that class and it's one of the only classes I distinctly remember waking up early to register for. I went on to take uh, two other classes from Kale, a war movies class and a class entitled The Global Voices of War. As an English major, a writer, and a wannabe author, Kale has offered me tons of encouragement and support. And the craziest thing is that he has always treated me like a peer. Me, an amateur writer, and he, an author of a New York Times Editor's Choice book. It's an excellent read, by the way. Kale is humble. During that first class we shared together, I asked Kale if I could bring my then fiance, now husband, to class, and he eagerly said yes. Afterwards, he sought Kate out to shake his hand and introduce himself and to ask Kate about life and school. Since that day in early 2018, whether Kale and I were passing each other on campus, meeting to discuss a paper, or emailing back and forth about assignments and our mutual love of writing, he has always asked me about Cade and told me to tell him hello. Kale values human connection. He values shaking hands and sharing stories. This is genuine. This is how Kale navigated his time in Iraq and Afghanistan. His stories are his, but he always includes the people that he actually interacted and connected with, and many of these people he has stayed in contact with. This allowed him to bring voices other than his own into our classroom. We Skyped with his friend Zia in Kabul, as well as Emma Skye, a former political advisor in Iraq and an excellent author. These, among others, and veterans that he invited to speak with us in person in class. Kale values human connection and he values different voices and different perspectives. He knows that his is not the only one that matters. This was made clear time and time again on the pages of his book and in his interactions with students in class. Always respecting unique and different perspectives and always willing to learn from us. Kale loves Utah and he lives to serve. He thrives on human connection above all else I know that his limited ability to shake your hands and to hear your stories due to COVID-19 is something that he considers a personal loss. I'm speaking through cyberspace and into your homes in order to say that Kale's humility and appreciation for different voices, his willingness to listen, is what makes him the exact person we need in politics right now. His background and experience are extensive, he has seen where Congress has prevailed and where it has failed. But at the end of the day, the thing that matters most to me is that Kale is a good man. Whether you are a Democrat or Republican or an Independent, Kale wants to know you, wants to serve you, and wants to represent you. Thank you, and we'll see you at the polls.